Are you a very vivid visual thinker? Um, yeah, I, th I think so. I have a very specific, vivid memory of everything. <laughs> and I guess I didn't really realize it, but I had this kind of visual, um, it's, it's some version of photographic memory. It's not like I can open a book, shut it, and read it in my mind, but I did have a, that, you know, I got tested as a kid, something weird, my mom thought something weird was going on, but I was able to, they would read a bunch of numbers and I could read them back, backwards, and they kept increasing the number and pretty soon I looked up, there was a room full of people kind of looking at me, they were applauding, I'm like a little kid, and they're, well, how are you doing that? And I said, oh, I just, I can hear the numbers and then I can see them, and then I can just read them backwards. So I had this kind of visual, but I didn't, you know, and your mom it didn't just... help me in school. <laughs> you know, it didn't make me a better student, but it was, I just had this thing. So I realized, oh, as I was, because I always was a writer, you know, I thought I'd grow up where I lived and as a kid, I thought, oh, that's my one means of expression, because I wasn't a particularly great musician and I didn't have songs rolling out of me, but I, I did feel like I- But you were a baseball had player. Had to express myself, yeah, yeah, and I was, detoured into sports, which was fun, and I, I loved that. But, uh, but as far as expressing myself personally, artistically, I felt writing was it. And it wasn't until my early 20s that I really started kind of discovering film, and then I, I was thinking like, oh, I could just see the films in my head, like, oh, I would cut there, I just could edit. And I had all the, inf like, like a short story I'd written, I adapted to a script. I said, well, how would this be as a film? And then I could just see the whole movie. So I thought, oh, maybe that's my, I, I was drifting toward that, like, oh, maybe that's my medium because I could store all this visual information in my head for long periods of time. And, and it actually, that's a skill like you should have mm -hmm. as a director. You know, there's a lot of really, um, uh, really smart, passionate, brilliant people in the world who aren't film directors because they probably don't have, it's kind of like a musician who can't, you know, carry so, a tune, you know, as a singer or a musician. So I don't know, it's some, and it's hard to describe. In Tarkovsky's yes. book, Sculpting in Time, he talks about, you know, you need to discover. He was several films into his brilliant, you know, seven film, all masterpiece career, but he still wasn't 100% sure he was a film director. 